The Trump administration is set to go to court over how the nation prepares for war. The administration is appealing a Texas federal court ruling examining the mail-only military draft system. KCAU 9's Anna Warnicke has the story. If there were a national emergency, former Marine Jude Eden says America needs its best soldiers out front. And women don't have an equal opportunity to survive in ground combat against men. She says she's seen firsthand women aren't fit to fight. There's a lot of roles in which uh, women excel. It's just in the combat units in particular, it's that's bad for women and bad for combat. Eden says expanding the country's military draft to include women would be a mistake. Right now, the law requires all men to register for the draft within 30 days of their 18th birthday. If they don't, they can be denied benefits like federal employment and student loans. A Texas federal court ruled the current male only draft is unconstitutional, and the Trump administration announced it will challenge that ruling. Ellen Herring with the Service Women's Action Network says denying women from registering is discriminatory. Either get rid of the draft and selective service or make women register at the, at the same rate as men. Plus, she knows not everyone drafted is sent to combat. You get tested and you get slotted into occupations for which you are qualified. And certainly if they're qualified, then it would be silly to cut off um, access to that talent pool. Joseph Hecht with a government group that examines military service says the U.S. may not even need a draft at all. We have not uh, had a draft uh, since the early 70s. So the question is, do we still need it? Um, and if we do, who should be required to register? The commission is holding a series of hearings to examine the draft and report back to Congress next March. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, KCAU 9 News.